Well, yesterday brought some sunshine as well as some passing showers that moved from north to south across the area. Not everyone saw these, but where you did, they were a nice little sight here as we ended the day. The system bringing them now moving up into the southeast. You can see that spin right there, a very wound up system. That's why we're seeing the stronger winds here today that are still with us this morning and will be with us through a good chunk of the day. Our next system already causing issues in California. Look at all that continuous rainfall they've had. In fact, they've seen some rainfall totals get up above five inches inches in the Santa Monica Mountains there north of LA, which is causing some landslides. So already causing issues and that system eventually brings us some rain chances as we get into the end of the week. Now ahead of that, we have the winds today and we'll eventually see the sun pop back out. The, this morning we're starting off with some clouds. North winds at around 15 miles per hour gusting to 25. It's 51 degrees currently in Waco as you look at our Syntax roof systems camera there. The winds in some cases are stronger in other spots close to 20 miles per hour from Temple Clean down through uh, Bryan College Station. And we'll have the winds around here for the first part of the day today. In fact, they're a good chunk of the day before things relax later on tonight. The clouds clear and we'll see sunshine this afternoon. All that'll do though is get us into the lower 60s, but that's not far from where we should be this time of year. Our normal 62, I'm calling for about 63 in Waco, 64 in Colleen, 62 in Temple, and 62 also in Bryan College Station. As the winds finally relax later on tonight, that's when we could wake up to some 30s by morning. In fact, there could be a few areas in the mid 30s, maybe some frost, but not a freeze on the way tonight. We'll see the high clouds hang around here as we get into tomorrow. Clouds continue to increase heading into the end of the week, and that will eventually lead to our next chance of rain with that next storm system. We start to see the first effects of it on Thursday and on Friday with a few showers around. And then by the time we get into Saturday and especially Sunday, that's why I expect more of this widespread rain to build in. Could see another inch out of this activity and some models want to bring some cold air in with this. Right now I've dropped highs down to the 50s, but a couple models want to take us down to the 40s for highs. So we could have a more significant cool down on the way once we get past next weekend. We'll get close to 70 before that there Thursday and Friday. Here come those rain chances Saturday and Sunday. And behind that, temperatures staying in the 50s. Could even see lows dipping down to the 30s. And the Brazos Valley, more of the same. Low 60s here in the next few days. Upper 60s, close to 70 Friday and Saturday. And we'll see those highs dip back down into the 50s early next week. In consumer news this morning,